So um, this one's very similar to the ones we were um, just answering. It says which member of each pair is, uh, which member of the pair is the stronger base? Okay. So do you remember how to determine which one's the stronger base? Um, is it this one or this one? NaOH. NaOH. And why would you say that? Because of the hydroxyl group. Yeah, hydroxide ion, right? Sorry. So no, it's totally okay. So the hydroxide ion, right? When we Remember, when it breaks up, Na plus, that always is it's a spectator ion, right? But that's the, uh, the thing that makes the pH go up, okay? So this is the base part. Okay? So the hydroxide ion here. So whenever you see that thing, you know, strong base. Okay, so this one here, do you remember what we said about amines? So this is a, a mean, weak base. Sorry, weak base. No, that's, that's all right. right. That's all right. So remember, amines have that lone pair on it. Okay, so if you want to think about this in Vesper theory, right, so this is trigonal um, pyramidal. And then we'll just say CH3. We're only concerned about this nitrogen being the central atom. Of course, there's molecular geometry around this tetrahedral, right? But here we've got a trigonal pyramidal um, molecular geometry. But what this lone pair can do, right, is accept a proton, mm -hmm. okay? So since that can accept a proton, we call it a base, okay? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have an ionizable hydroxide ion on it, right? So what we call it is not a strong base, but a weak base. Okay, so remember, weak base, strong base. Yeah. Sure.